We will learn how to carry out relative and absolute referencing. Find the sum of all the numbers in this column. So we click on the cell, write equal to, sum, open brackets, select the numbers that you want to be add, added, close the brackets, click enter. This is the sum for all, all these numbers in one column. You would want the same in the cell for these numbers. So you can copy this formula here and you get the sum for all these numbers in the second column. This is relative referencing. You see here the sums range from B4 to B13 whereas the sum of the numbers in this cell range from C4 to C13. Excel automatically increases the column value by one unit. Now you would want to find the product of the sum and the multiplier. So here we will write equal to 608 which is B16 into 20 which is E4 and you click enter. Here you get 12,160. You can copy the same formula here as we did for sum, but we get this as zero. That is because here the formula here is C16 into F4. We do not have anything in F4. What we need is E4. As Excel automatically increases the column value by one unit, it shifts from E4 to F4. You would want to make E4 absolute. You can do this by adding a dollar sign in front of the column and row value. We write dollar sign in front of 4 and before E. This makes E4 absolute. We can click enter and copy this formula here which gives us the product for 513 and 20. Now we will learn row absolute and column absolute referencing. In row absolute, the row value does not change while the column value changes. And in column absolute referencing, the column value does not change while the row value changes. Here you would want to find the products of these numbers. We can write equal to 5, which is A23, into 5, which is B22. You see the formula here. You click OK. Now, as we learned here in absolute referencing, when you go a step further, the value 5 will not be used, rather 25 will be used. Here you see, B23, which is 25, is being used. We wouldn't want that. And so, we, so we make this a column absolute since we want values only from column A. We add a dollar sign and hit enter. You can copy these here. Now, for row absolute, you would want row 22 because all the values to be used are from this row. Hence, you can make 22 absolute, which is called row absolute referencing. You hit enter, you copy these here, and you copy these down 